Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am so excited. It is like Christmas around here in Corridor. We have new characters that will be released as you can see on stay on the screen here. Hilda, Philia, and Yogi. Now this is going to be a impressions sort of video about what is coming up what what is going on in the game just today the developers released on the discord channel an announcement that said hey things are going into effect winter dragon days are here the new seasonal event is here new legendary event will be announced to december 24th right uh, you can now change your payout times we kind of went over this like we know these are what was coming now we have even more things to be able to talk about you new tournament shop how you can buy wonder lula bori philia uh gold and epic gear i'm going to be able to show you that um i'm going to be able to show you uh how you'll be able to obtain yogi um from eight nine mission to be able to do that cruel yogi and hilda are now added to the common markets so you can push purchase them with your drag coins it's so exciting i can't tell you how excited i am for this i really i won't lie to you guys i really really need it um i spent most of the night in the hospital last night because of my back um we did have an mri done it does look like i have a bulging disc that is tapping my spine and that is what's going on there um so i am on the mend if i sound a little weird that's because i'm heavily narc heavily <laughs> intoxicated with prescription drugs uh from the doctor but i really do appreciate you guys being here if you are new around here hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing and let's jump into it so we're here on the test account we have the new heroes in the test account we've got been told that we could show you everything that we have in the test account right now um and hilda is here um, I, I, as you can see, this is not going to be like an in-depth character guide or anything like that. I, I'm just going to give you my impressions. I've, I've just opened it up. I've just leveled them and got them to gear 11, maxed out their abilities. I, I, we're going to be reading all this stuff for the first time together. So let's go ahead and start with Hilda. She's order Panda defender and a traveler. Um, you know, let's look at her kit here deals 210% physical damage to an enemy gains equal gain shields equal to 50 percent of that damage dealt that's awesome um and so that's going to be pretty cool uh she's going to be able to regen regenerate shields um so i think that's pretty good uh her spear throw deals three uh 340 physical damage to an enemy and she gains armor increase and tenacity increase for two turns that'll be great that'll help her from getting stunned um battle song this is it looks like it's a first turn taunt right at level six and so gain taunt for the first for two turns and reduces all enemies turn meter uh by five percent if snorri is one of the allies both of you gain damage increase for two turns Ooh, she's working with has some synergy with snorri that's pretty cool uh that i think that he kind of needs that and he's going to get a damage increase so that's that's pretty awesome um as well uh she might be somebody you want to put into your uh into you know into your solius team for the raids now like i said this is just my impressions i we don't know um increased hilda's max shields by 1500 right that's pretty crazy. Um, you can 15, or sorry, did I read that wrong? I said 15,000. It says, yeah, increases Hilda's max shields by 15,000. Well, that's, that's cool. Um, I wonder if this shows up here. I don't think so. I, I don't know. Um, but this looks like this, this ability here, this would be what she would normally have in shields, I believe. Um, you know, if we ever have a question, of course, we'll just go to be a dragon champions. Uh, BADC dot info, and let's see if we have any info on on this character quite yet. Doesn't quite look like it. So, what I would, I, what I, my impression is that this is going to be added to her base shields, um, and that means that she has a lot of shields. Add fifteen thousand to this twenty thousand base, right? We're looking at thirty five thousand shields. 
based on her ability. So that's that's really kind of cool. Um, who knows how to modder? Like I said, not an in-depth character guide. There will be one. Um, there will be an in-depth character guide coming. But let's talk about Philia. Philia is an order, elf, mage, fighter, and tactician, right? Uh, look at her artwork. She's just looks great. I like I like Hilda. Hilda looks okay. I she's you know she's okay. I, I she's pretty. Don't get me wrong. The art is amazing. But I you know the shield's kind of cool. I think that's pretty awesome. But Philia, I think that this she just looks phenomenal, right? With all you know with the hair, the coloring, and all that. I think that's just really cool. I have no idea about art. I can appreciate it, but I have no idea. But she, I think that she looks really awesome. Let's go ahead and look at her kit as well. Her kit, uh, fly trap spit. Deals 100%, 180% of magic damage to an enemy and deals 20% of magic damage for each regeneration stack on Philia. Okay. So we, this probably send gel is probably going to be needed or people who can cast regeneration. Um, that's, that's very cool. Uh, her poison vine does 240% magic damage to an enemy and strikes two more random enemies. Damage is halved for each new enemy struck uh, and then poison the uh, poisons the target two times for two turns has a 50% chance to poison additional targets for two turns. That's that's really cool. Um, and so it sounds like you're going to do 240% to the first person and then you're going to do half of 240, which would be what 120% damage to the next Um and then I guess the other one would be also the same, 200, 200, 120%. I think that's how it's supposed to be. It may not actually work that way, but that's kind of what it sounds like. Neurotoxin deals 230% magic damage to all enemies. Okay, here we go. Nice. We have an all enemies. Inflicts damage decrease for two turns. That's cool. And goblin enemies are slowed for two turns. All right, so now we have, we looks like we have some faction against faction issues here. Um, goblins and, and elves kind of having some uh, de-synergy, I guess. I know it's not really a word, but uh, we can call it that. Uh, that's really kind of cool. Damage decrease. This is, this is new. Um, having some damage decrease here. That's kind of new. Uh, and so I think that's, that's a really cool ability. Uh, we'll see how that ends up working as well. Woodland Might, this is the passive Philia, Philia gains 20% magic damage increase. Okay, just straight across the board. If Alaria is one of the allies, Philia also gains 20% magic damage increase. So, so it looks like she gets 20. If Alaria is there, she gets 40. If Senjel is one of the allies, Philia also gains another 20% magic increase. Okay, so if you stack Alaria and you stack Senjel on with her, she's going to end up getting... 60% total magic increase at at 6. That's pretty cool. Um of course that limits her maybe a little bit um to having those teams. We'll see what her damage is going to look like. I'm not going to ruin them. We are going to do some gameplay, but I'm not going to ruin them at the moment. I just want to see their base, you know, how they how they do on their base and uh so let's see. Yogi Yogi's the clan, so we get one clan, we get two order and one clan, um, he's a pride fighter, mage and dragon slayer, so we have another dragon slayer, that could be good, um, let's look at his kit, he looks pretty cool too, I like the little, the bug up here that's flying around, um, his purple, I wonder if he changes color, that would be an interesting, if he, if he were to change color, uh, See, it looks at his first ability, Sand Strike, deals 240% magic damage to an enemy and a 50% chance to inflict slow for two turns against poisoned enemies and 30% chance to stun for one turn. So that's there's kind of a lot to compact there uh, to un you know to unpack. Uh, you have a 50% chance to inflict slow against poisoned enemies, so we need some people who are going to poison. Uh, let's think like Vorian. Uh, who is a character is not really used, but he is a pride character. So that would be uh, Venomate would be another really good one uh, to be able to bring uh, bring a Yogi in with Venomate and have that. And then a 30% base chance to stun for one turn. So that sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty good. 
Sandstorm is his first ability here. It looks like it's going to be a three cooldown, so you're not going to be able to use this ability for, for until turn three. Uh, deals 220% magic damage to the target and 110% of magic damage to all other enemies. Inflicts blindness for two turns on the main target. All right. That's nice. Um, that's certainly nice. We, you, in the raid, you might be able to cast blindness on to hard orc um, right at the time where you where he, he brings down his um, brings down his amplifiers and and does that sort of stuff. So maybe he can miss the whole party. That could be kind of cool. Um, Sands of Time. So this is going to be a, a second turn ability that can be done. Uh, restores two energy to a random ability and 50% turn gauge to the target ally. So that I think what this means is that we're going to reduce the cooldown of a random ability by two. I think that's what that means. I'm not sure. Um, right. It says energy restored. I'm, so I'm not, I'm not sure what energy to restored means, um, but I think that's what it means. And then 50% of tur turn gauge uh, or turn meter to the target ally. And so that's, that's cool. So it looks like, you're going to be able to use this ability and it'll randomly, randomly. Uh, I, I'm not sure. It looks like we can target somebody. It's going to randomly change their abilities by two and give them 50% turn meter. So we'll have to see how that works. Um, and then let's look at his cold blood passive ability. Yogi gains 30% potency. If Vorian trickster is in the battle as well, both of them gain 30% potency. So, he gives some extra potency to Vorian, and he wouldn't be giving it to Venomate, um, and because they're both pride. So that's cool. Um, a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, I'm just so excited. I am so excited to see um, what how this is working. So let's go over to Arena for a second. Ooh, look at that. And um, before we do. I, obviously fighting these teams are probably not going to work so let's look at let's look at tournaments before we do that let's let's go into the shop right here's the shop what the shop's going to kind of look like so you're looking at tournaments here we got bori shards that you can get widowmaker uh some fragments gold right with the new currency so you'll be able to buy gold so that's going to be very very nice as well if we look on tower hilda's available in the tower if we look on arena we don't have a whole lot let's just refresh let's see if we can get some new faces let's refresh again okay it looks like we're still basically the same there we do have kara let's just refresh here and see if we can get some new faces diesel rog is still here as well all right so we we know in tower hilda's right there in tower uh so we can start farming her right right from tower so that's really nice uh, let's see if we can go into our tournaments are going to look a little different. So don't worry about this there. We've set, this is set up so we can just fight each other. Um, and that sort of stuff. Uh, I wouldn't worry about, you know, this necessarily at the moment, right? But we can just fight. This does says any hero stones. This is for us to be able to fight each other in tournaments and that sort of thing. So let's just kind of grab the characters real fast. Um, let's just grab them all. Let's look. Where are they at? I had them favorited. I thought that might bring them to the top, but it did not. That would be nice to have, is to be able to favorite them and just bring your favorites to the top. But let's... Um, so let's do... Let's just grab her, him. Um, and it doesn't really matter. We're just kind of throwing them in there. I just want to see what they see what they look like and how they're going to interact let's take a look at that i can't tell you guys i mean this is this is super super excited um super exciting stuff new characters new stuff it's christmas i i, I just can't uh while while it's loading right some of the new some of the other things that are going to be happening right go back to my other video i will link that video um in in the description as well and i'm going to see if i can put a you know time card up in the top right hand corner as well for you guys to be able to go and look at that um, but let's speed this up all right well and we're just going to kind of speed through this see if we can qualify real quick and then if see if there's other people oh we got a synchronization error 
which sometimes happens on these. Uh, so it really, really cool stuff. Some of the new things, right? Some of the new things that are coming that weren't talked about in my last update video is now Dispel. Now Dispel's abilities are going to start correctly dispelling random buffs and debuffs. It's, it sounds like what was happening is that it was automatically targeting, say, taunt and that sort of stuff. So this is effectively a little bit of a nerf from Night EL, um, because it's going to dispel these buffs um, and that sort of stuff. I think the best way to do this is just go into campaign and play some of the campaign. We have new we have new places to be able to farm gear. That's another one. Cooldowns increase. So uh, we have new places that we can farm some of these high level gear, such as Curse Madness here. That's really, really awesome. Uh, we also have uh, some other things, you know, other things that are coming too. These are big ones. Term meter decrease is now resistible. Cooldown increases are now resistible. Um, and dispel buffs now are resistible as well. So these are big fixes. Uh, fixed a bug when heroes could get turn meter even with the days buff. They're fixing that as well. And then rune word damage now gives 15% increased damage instead of 20. So this is a big, this is a big deal as well. And then boss tenacities have been increased as well. Um, you definitely want to go check out. I'm going to throw a link in the description. Um, I, I'm going to go into the depth of this later, I think, but there's a link in the, there'll be a link in the description to be a dragon champions. Um, and it'll talk about all this stuff as well. So if you want to go get a heads up on that before I cover it in depth, we can certainly do that as well. So they've made a few changes, um, or fixes to certain characters is it, it too. Um, Amara, uh, two Amaras no longer duplicate their passive abilities. So if you were if you're bringing two Amaras onto the battlefield, say in PvP with Cruel, or two Amaras when you're fighting them in the Dawn of the Order or any of the other areas, they're not going to give that. Sharp has been changed. His third ability, Critical Thinking. There was a bug where it gave him critical damage buff to all the allies instead of just himself only, and so. That's some of the new changes that are coming as well. So let's go in here and um, look. We see Yogi can be farmed right here uh, at 8, 9, just as the patch notes say. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, it's a tough... And look, we also have the ability to get Dragon Veils here as well, that which is really, really awesome. Let's go ahead and see if we can go in here. Let's try to use Hilda. Now, of course, she's not going to be nearly as good as what we kind of expect um, at the moment, but we're going to try to put her with her faction. So I don't, we're going to bring out Kin Lee. Uh, we're going to put Fao in there and then bring in, and then Hilda will be our tank. So this is kind of just a faction gathering. So we have Ember, we have Fowl, we have Master Duo, and we're going to bring in Hilda as our tank, and we're just going to kind of see what happens um, here. And now, of course, this is PvE. This is not PvP. Like I said, this is just a first impressions. Try to see what this is all like. It's so exciting. There's so many cool things to do, but I really wanted you guys to be able to see it, uh, get a good idea of what's going on. Um, you know, and just wait a, you know, get excited about the game because there's so many cool things that are going. Uh, so let's go ahead and first off, we're going to go ahead and fireball Kara here. We are going to get Grace and dodge. Um, looks like we don't want to do that right now. Let's just attack and we'll get some slow. I am going to pop armor up on everybody in the group. And then Hilda, let's see, we can get your battle song. So let's go ahead and do that. We didn't put Snorri in the group, obviously, but that's okay. Look at that. Reverse, reduce turn meter on everybody. That happened so quick, but it did. everybody it popped up. Right? So let's go ahead and Salvo. That also decreased turn meter there. All right. We'll go ahead and do Martial Knowledge. All right. We got a lot of debuffs over here, so we're going to cast these debuffs over on her. Look how much... Look how much... Uh, shields she has she has a ton of shields all right let's go ahead and just attack there we go let's see spear throw deals to 340 physical damage to the enemy and gains armor decrease and tenacity 
increase at the same er, for her so for two turns so let's go ahead and attack punch your face here with this ability let's slow it down just a little bit yeah, 13,000 keep in mind she doesn't have any any sort of it was a crit and she doesn't have any other buffs or anything like that so that's that's kind of cool all right maybe what we'll do we'll do one more after this and we'll bring in snorri and let's see how look at that she just gained a bunch of shields we'll, we'll have to slow that down again all right so that was pretty cool um she seems to be you know pretty cool now is she gonna be better in kinley i don't know uh, who knows uh, that's the first time i ever used her you guys just saw it um so really really cool stuff um really cool stuff of course i'm enjoying the game but i'm in this so that was one of the harder that was one of the harder ones we're gonna fight the same one again um let's actually go into something like this because this is going to be pretty crazy a lot of characters a lot of a lot of things to do we're gonna bring in snorri all right we're gonna get rid of hmm, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get rid of master duo and let's bring in snorri um and let's also bring in a Freezard, all right? Because this is a team that could be viable. I'm just spitballing, right? Because we got synergy with Freezard and Snorri. We got synergy with Snorri and Hilda, all right? Let's see how that works. It's taking a bit of time to load. The like video is going to be a little bit longer, and I am sorry about that, but I think that this probably is why live stream worthy, but I'm just unfortunately not able to do a live stream. I think I can only really sit and be here for the few minutes that, I, that that's going to take, you know, before I need to go ahead and get up. So let's go ahead and attack um, these guys here. Let's throw up armor. It's berserk. All right, and let's go ahead and taunt. See, she's pretty quick. She taunt. She she went pretty fast. And then all the turn meter reduction that just happened. That is turn meter reduction on a, a taunt. That's pretty dang good. Um, all right, let's see. Let's go ahead and get rid of pain. Let's attack with Snorri. All right, we don't have any buffs on the field, so we're just going to attack. Not too bad. All right. Now I'm going to try to slow it down here on this next wave when she taunts again. Um, and we'll, we'll we'll take a look and see what it does. So Ember there with a hit. We'll get cheat death. Okay. So let's slow it down a little bit, primarily because I want to see... I want to see these turn meter reductions happen. I also want to see her shields. I want to see what her shields do as well. Um, so we're just going to keep hitting the basic and we're doing this primarily because we, I want to see what she's able to do and we're gaining, you know, we're gaining shields, um, on her basic. And so let's, when she gets to attack, we'll slow it down to one time speed and let's take a look and see what happens. Boom. She gained all looks based on what I could see there, almost 4,000, 4,500 shields, um, from that. And it raised up her Right, but she's gaining bonuses, right? She gets to gain shields on her basic, and she's gaining shields from Patriarch Cheese basic, which is really, really cool. Um, so we're we're getting some double synergy there. Um, we'll just go ahead and slow. Let's go ahead and just use that. All right. So let's look here. Um, I'm not going to taunt actually this time. I'm just going to spear him. There we go. Now we have. Uh, three people out. I'm not going to... I'm going to go ahead and use the spin and do the buff. I want to see what she's going to do for her... for turn meter reduction, right? So, let's go ahead and turn, slow it down. Once again, we look at this, right? Uh, it's going to reduce turn... Uh, looks like all enemies' turn gauges by 5%. So let's look and see what it says. Right. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but it said 14% and 20%. So there may be a bug here if 
of what what's going on there i'll have to you know send that over to the developers uh because it looks like she reduced turn meter by more or at least it said she reduced turn meter by more than five percent on each person um all right and so we may want to we may want to bring that to their attention we'll have to do a little bit more testing to see if that actually happens but they certainly decrease their turn meter um their turn meter bars all right so let's go ahead and just we'll just stun him let's see if we can get the stun boom nice uh renara bunch of shields bunch of shields look at her shields just staying up there and of course everybody else's shields are staying up all right and we'll go ahead and come in with the bleed we didn't really need to use that but it's just a cool looking ability all right and so everybody's shields are still up that's why Patriarch Chi is so good as a leader. And we'll just go ahead and spear. There we go. So, very interesting. Very, very cool. Um, very cool on that. Let's go ahead and talk to... Let's go over to... Um, over to Hilda's... Or not Hilda, but let's go to Philia now. And we're going to basically run the same... The same sort of deal here different same one we're you know we want to have the same control right but we're gonna bring in the elves all right let's bring in elves and let's kind of talk for a second about what elves we would want to run nighty l is our leader because that's really the only leadership we currently have let's bring philia in um we get kelrion for our tank right and then we kind of have we want to bring in both of these because of the extra damage she's going to get, right? She's going to get 40% extra bonus damage. And keep in mind, there's no runes yet. Um, no runes at all. And uh, let's see what we... Let's see how well they do. I mean, obviously, we walk through it. High level, high level of order. Just walk through. Now, we are level 80. Most of them are all runed out. Um, but Hilda very much held her own um, and through that. And so let's see what Philia can do. All right, we're going to go ahead and give damage increase up. Taunt. All right. We got a burn. Put some potency. So let's look at the basic again. Deals 100%, 180% of magic damage to an enemy, plus 20 for each regeneration stack, but doesn't have any regeneration stacks, but let's slow it down to see what happens. Okay, 10,000. It's not bad. No runes or anything. Obviously, we know what Nighty L can do. Um, so let's get some regeneration stacks. Um, we're going to heal by 500% of the magic damage and put, throw some regeneration stacks. I'm just going to throw that up there. Um, all right. You're going to strike two enemies and poison them. So let's, let's do some poison there. All right. Poison went out. Got damage down, which is huge i think uh, we're gonna get even more regeneration so let's throw up some more regeneration stacks now she's got three stacks of regeneration all right okay 230 percent uh magic damage to all enemies we're not going to do that one at the moment uh let's go ahead and do this one for each regeneration stack so we got three there you go fifteen thousand. And that was 15,000 and a crit without damage up. So they're just pretty well walking through. Uh, let's do all enemies. Let's see this ability. Oh, that was cool looking. That was cool. I like the sound too, you know, with the dripping, the dripping poison and that sort of thing. So she's getting a lot of extra bonus bonuses here. We still haven't. We have, we're not going to use that ability because we have a, a whole bunch of people coming up here in a second on the next wave. So let's see, Vanessa. We're going to throw up more regeneration simply to power up. Oof, more. Oh, we all know what Nightingale can do. That's for sure. 
and we're not seeing that sort of damage okay so i mean i think i think it's keep in mind and you know night is our mvp we're not seeing her hit for thirty-three thousand uh like night el just did there but we also don't have all the runes that night el currently has um and so let, we'll, let's keep that in mind as well let's go ahead and throw up our basic on renara we'll go ahead and taunt um we are going to use this and apply regeneration for four turns right popping that on there it's going to stay on there for a while let's go ahead and attack we'll throw up some damage as well i'm kind of hoping that i'll be able to get you know to plan it out in such a way where we can get a big damage hit yeah here we go there we go now we have three stacks we have three stacks and uh we're just going to use our basic... For, I still killed her. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. So we have three stacks. We have three stacks and damage up this time for Fly Trap Spit. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. 23,000 on the basic um, to a tank. <laughs> so it's not too, not too bad. That's really exciting. That's really, really exciting. Um... So we know that she's she seems to be a little limited with she gets a lot of extra bonus damage with these characters. So that's that's cool. I mean, it gives us somebody else um, a good damage dealer. So let's go over to uh, Rage of the Clans and talk about. Let's go to say this is something. Eh, it's not the same. Let's see, Rage of Clans. All right, all right. These these guys look like they're pretty tough. Uh, we're going to go battle them. It's kind of... Right? And we're going to go with our pride team. Alright? So we know we got Hera. And we got... We want to have Salvador. And we got Yogi here. And we're going to use Vorian. Um, and we're going to use Vorian for, you know, the poisons. Because we have some synergy here. Let's just see how this all works out. skip through here so we got basically it's kind of a pvp fight obviously i don't think you're going to see this team in pvp but they got their high level that sort of thing so we can kind of see what they're going to do against high level people um let's see here vorian has a chance to get target uh for let's go ahead and go after him oh he added poison excellent let's do a basic here we'll go ahead and fight got salvador with his taunt up which is really good all right let's see first time to use sand strike deals 240 percent damage uh to an enemy 50 percent chance to inflict slow for two turns poison enemies uh against poison enemies so we know he's poisoned so let's go ahead and see if we can get slow we didn't inflict slow now we don't have any tenacity steel shell all right uh so we're gonna go ahead and oof nice pretty decent hit we got steel shell we're gonna go past this over as well um make him get some dodge chance shadar here is over here doing some stuff all right so let's see this it says restore two energy to a random ability and 50 percent turn gauge okay so we just used our ability with um with Revel, let's go ahead and cast this on to Revel and see what ends up happening uh, when we come back to his abilities. All right? So, I'm not sure what happened, to be perfectly honest with you. This one still says it's on a cooldown of one of four. Maybe, you know, uh, maybe, it, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I'm not really sure how that all worked. Let's just go ahead and attack. Let's throw up some more poison stacks if we can. Let's see here. Never used Vorian much. 320% piercing damage to an enemy. Review Removes three poison stacks from the enemy, dealing 100% for each poison. So we don't have any poison stacks up, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll taunt again with Salvador. Um, everybody's currently taunting uh, because of Puncher Face. We're going to add some more. I'll probably use that a little too early. All right. Oh, we go ahead and defeated him there. So now they're going back and taunting our tank, which is really good. 
Let's go after Puncher Face so we're not getting too much. Let's see if we can get poison. We did. Here's the Sandstorm, inflicts blindness. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's try to see if we can hit blindness. We didn't. Um, let's pass our, pass our uh, dodge over. Let's see. It's all really kind of cool stuff. Um, can we get, nope, he, he ended up dodging us there too. Let's just go after Zantara. Obviously, we don't have a healer in the group. Um, not necessary, I don't think. As as we're seeing here, we got a uh, we got a lot of we're all under stealth at the moment. I really want to know how this ability works. It I, I'm curious about it. It's it's very it seems to be a little confusing about how it actually works. I'm a little confused. Uh, maybe we can get some clarification from that. Uh, let's go ahead and taunt, uh, and we win. So I'm. Uh, <sighs> My impression so far is I'm not sure what to think on with uh, with this little chameleon guy whose name I just escaped me. Uh, but I'm not sure what to think about him um, in that sort of group. Obviously, I think that people are going to want to group him up with not Vorian, um, but you know, some something more along the lines of you know. A team that we would probably see a team that i would think that i would probably try to run with them would have would be more like this we got a lot of damage here and poisons and that sort of thing so uh let's go see how this was work like i said this is kind of more like a live stream format but i don't think I'd have enough time to do the live stream. Couldn't sit for long enough to do it, so we're kind of doing it this way. Uh, but let's go ahead and attack here. Uh, we can probably just... We got poisons up the wazoo um, already. When he lands his poison ability, I think that's going to be really beneficial. All right, nice little, nice little hit there. Steel shell. Go ahead and throw, throw the buffs over, give her a visibility because she needs it. I might as well give him counter a chance. I probably wouldn't normally use hers first and then hers. Uh, I would probably bounce them back and forth. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to do it because there's just no reason not to um, for test purposes. Now we have poison across the board. Um, let's see. Restore two energy to a random ability. Um, and then 50% turn meter. So we don't... I don't know what that means. But he did get... It did look like it did look like it affected him. So let's see. All right. So this is normally a three, a four cooldown, and now it's a three. So it does look like it works the way I suspected it would work. It lowered the cooldown of this ability um, uh, by it looks like by two because we're going to be able to turn around and use it again. Right. Let's go ahead and use our taunt this time. So we lost stealth because of, you know, because of puncher face here. But we have magic damage, more poison, so we'll just put more poison out there. All right. We still haven't used this ability yet. This ability has taken a while. Uh, obviously, she's a little slow because we don't have any, you know, speed on her. Uh, but that's okay. And this is the right time to use this ability. We'll go ahead and kill him. Taking a hit. Let's see if we can get him under stealth. All right, that'll work. And let's see if we can throw over some damage increase. Here we are. All right. And let's go ahead and target Shadar because he's got the biggest health pull left. And we want to try to inflict blind on him. And we did. We inflicted blind so he won't be able to hit us. So we can go back after Zantara. Right. And blind's going to be on there for two turns, which is really big. Um, and then defeat it. So, a lot of utility there. Um, a lot of utility there from the chameleon. 
Uh, and so I think that I, I think it's going to be really cool. I'm super, super excited to play with these characters and get them out there. I wanted to see everybody, to see Yogi, to see Hilda, to see, uh, you know, Philia and what they're like and that sort of stuff. If you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. If you like the video, drop a video down there. If if you want to see some more content for these guys, I absolutely will do in-depth character guides for them. Um, let's see how they get released into the game and their timing. Uh, we will talk about that, but I think that they're really, really interesting. There's a lot of really interesting things going on right now in the game, and I can't tell you how excited I am. I, I feel like I'm saying it, but I don't feel it. You're not hearing it in my voice, and I think that's just because of the medication and that sort of stuff, but People, I think this is great. Our developers are hitting it out of the park, I think, with this update. I can't wait to see who the legendary event's going to be announced on Christmas Eve. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, drop it down there. Drop a comment. Who do you think is going to be the legendary event? I know we've had videos out on who we think it's going to be, um, you know, and that sort of thing. But it's going to, it's an exciting time for the game. I think that it's just amazing. I think these two characters, these three characters, have may have a lot of potential. Let's see what they can do. Um, and that sort of thing. And I really, really do appreciate you guys coming and watching the video. I know it's kind of more of a live stream format instead, um, because I just wanted to give you my initial impressions on things that I'm seeing for the first time. And, uh, so thank you so much for being here. I know the video is way, way long, but uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, all the support and love, and we will see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.